Hello and welcome to this episode of Power BI Quick Tips with James from Matador Software. Today we're going to be looking at how we can use Power Query within Power BI to transform and clean unstructured data in an instant. Before we do this, it's best to discuss what Power Query actually is and why we use this within Power BI. The Microsoft documentation tells us that Power Query is a data transformation and preparation engine. It comes with a graphical interface for getting data from sources and a Power Query editor for applying transformations. So it also lets us know that we can perform ETL, so extract, transform and loading of our raw data. Um, but what we can think of Power Query as is sort of uh, the gatekeeper into Power BI. Power Query takes our data, we can transform it if we need to, it'll apply some queries and some applied steps at the time, and the data goes into Power BI. The more steps that we apply within Power Query can affect the, the performance of Power BI, so we need to be wary of that. So as this example, I've created some mock data, but we can assume that this data came in from something like forms and we didn't necessarily want to edit it in Excel. We can use Power Query to transform our data and cleanse it. You can see that there's a number of variances. There's white space, there's columns we don't necessarily require. There's incorrect data, and we'll look to see how we can eradicate this very simply. The first thing we notice is that we have rows predominantly with white space. These could prove problematic later on. So the sensible thing to do is simply to unfilter these blank rows. Power Query has a very helpful function called trim. So if we were to right click on first name and surname, select transform and trim, that removes any leading or trailing white space we have and standardizes everything. So it's very helpful and very quick. It's also helpful to note that when we're performing these actions, we notice in the applied steps, Power Query is noting the steps we take, and this is going to impact the speed of the, the Power Query engine. If we want to remove any transformations we've made quickly, we can go into the applied steps tab on the right and click the X next to the associated action such as change type or filter rows. It's also important to note that within the cog in the source, we can click there and it'll then allow us to go in and change some of our, our source data, as we do here where we change one of the first names and this will be actioned. You'll notice these insert step warnings appear on my screen. You won't typically see these, don't worry about it. It's purely because I went back within my steps and I didn't come out to the last action to, to apply new steps. I'll rectify this later, but, but there isn't an issue here. And in the same manner as we did before when we used trim, another functionality we have available is the uppercase, which means that we can take every letter or word or, or string, text item, character, and we can convert it to uppercase so that it's standardized. Very helpful again. This street address is full of nothing really. There's no value here. So we can right click and remove the column. And again, start to clean up our data, which will only serve us well when we go back into Power BI Desktop and we're building visualizations and looking for data sources. It's gonna to help to find everything very quickly. Now we can right click and go about changing types. So we want to change our employee number to a whole number and we'll see we have an error. Now, typically what we could do, we could remove this using the, the remove bottom rows function. However, what's even easier to do is simply to right click and select remove errors. As this is not a number, it was a text string, it will simply remove it for us. So again, very powerful, easy way to edit quickly. Lastly, we'll change our date column to a date type to keep things correct.
as well as performing our query actions very easily within the, the GUI, the, the user interface, we can actually go into the advanced editor and view the M code. It's important to note that within Power BI, we use DAX, Data Analytics Expression under the hood as the coding language. Well, the coding language for Power Query is, is known as M. And what you can see me do here is actually go into the advanced editor, edit, and we'll change the type. So you will see that this column changes to a text type date of birth. Of course, we don't want that. We want it to be a date type. And we can simply go back into the and delete the step and change it to the correct type. But important to know that we've got that advanced editor at our disposal. And as we use Power Query more, we may become more proficient in M coding. We have the first name and the surname in separate columns. If we want to merge these together, we can use a custom column to join the first name and surname within one full name column. And then we can delete these two from our model. Again, keep things lightweight. So the first name and surname, the, the syntax here is very simple. We join them with an ampersand and in the middle, I've put a quotation mark with a space just to ensure that when this joins or merges, we do have a space in the middle. I've chosen to space out the syntax as well with the ampersands and the quotation marks. You don't have to do this, but it just makes it more readable. And lastly, we can just simply drag and drop this over, change the type, remove the first name and the surname, and we'll be ready to go with a nice clean data model. So we can simply select close and apply. This will take us back through from the Power Query data gatekeeper into the Power BI visualizations. We'll add the data within a table, check it looks okay. And as I said, we, we need to be conscious of any applied steps, but these are quite lightweight steps, so they shouldn't impact performance too much. And now things look great considering where we started from. It was very quick. And as usual, if you find this content helpful, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you.